some other folks in here, so I'm not going to sing the praises of how wonderful Home Depot is. <laughs> what I will say is this, is I got an email a few weeks back uh, from Dave inviting me to speak today. And uh, I had no idea what I was signing up for. He said, yeah, absolutely, cut me in. And then like a week later, I was like, what are you going to talk about? I didn't, I didn't know what this event was. It was just, I, I need you for an event. So like, what do you want to talk about? Uh, his response was, I just need to talk about, uh, to the group, why it's so important to hire folks with, with disabilities. And admittedly, I was dumbfounded because I, I don't, and I don't understand why that's even a conversation today. That's why I have to give a value prop, or anybody has to give a value prop on why it's so important to hire someone that has varied abilities. That doesn't make sense to me. As a person, it doesn't make sense to me. As a store manager, it absolutely doesn't make sense to me. Because that, that shouldn't be the question. The question is, well, why not? You know, I look at what I do, and, and I understand. We have a variety of different backgrounds between, I, I work retail, right? We're standing in a bank. Some of us have grocery stores or restaurants. But at the end of the day, in all these different environments, it's all a relationship business. Sales is a relationship business. Politics is a relationship business. Everyone here that does something, if you're in healthcare, that's a relationship business. You know, so the best way to drive relationships, of course, is diversifying your workforce, yes. But being cognizant of the fact that everyone that you employ, like for yourself as a store manager, I'm responsible for every single individual <coughs> that works for me, but I'm also responsible for their families. And the reality is they spend more time with me than they do with their families. I spend more time with them than I do with my own family. Right, so I think experience is probably the best educational tool. So when you when you diversify your workforce and you hire a variety of different folks, regardless of what their disability is or what have you, what they learn, what my associates learn from the folks that I bring on board, is better than anything I can ever teach them. That's and that's the truth, right? I, I will get them and put them in positions where they will interact with folks that they they never would have dreamed of, and learn things and build relationships that'll make them better in the long run. The value prop as a business leader is that if my associates learn from other folks and they learn some compassion and understanding, when they deal with that customer, they'll be better equipped to deal with that customer and have those same conversations. And maybe, oh, by the way, they get to sell something too. Right? And that's kind of how it works, right? So in, in, when I look at this in a sales environment, again, Home Depot is what sells. We're, we're trying to, uh, we, we sell wood, we sell paint, I sell dream kitchens, we can kind of do it all. But I can't teach experience to anybody that I, that I hire. You know, I can't. I need the folks that are around me to, to just talk and bond and do all that kind of stuff. And from those experiences, now you can relate to the folks walking in saying, hey, I need your help because I just bought a house and I have no idea what I'm doing. Great, let's talk about that. So to kind of reel this in a little bit, Every single individual that I've ever employed with a quote unquote disability or varied ability has been a home run for the store. They've, they've been a home run for the team. And I know that for them, I'm not gonna say it's a life altering experience, but what I'll tell you is this. I interview and I've interviewed thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. And most folks that walk into to my store or walk into a job fair or whatever it is, and they're looking for a job, you know, they're, they're kind of happy, whatever, and, and they go through the process and they get a job offer and they're okay. Every individual where there's, there's a very ability or disability or what have you, when I offer them the job, they're like, yeah, woo! And they call their mom, they call their mother, they call their dad, they're really excited. And that's awesome. Because we just impacted that person's life. You know, and now they're that much more excited and they're that much more committed to doing a very good job. And that, that's been my experience. And when they bring that excitement and that positivity to the team, when they're in the store talking all the time about, oh my God, I'm so happy to be here, I'm so excited to be here, oh, love, boss, I love you, boss this, boss that, whatever it is, they're always happy and pumped up. It, it, you can't teach that. In, in today's society where everybody is texting and social media and, and there's a, a variety of entitlements that we all believe we have, my best associates have been the folks that nobody wants to hire because they're afraid to, to delve into that. You know, the, the, the concept of the interactive interview process, how can I help? Well, we should be asked that all the time. If you're an employer, if you're the boss, that's my job. You know, my job isn't to sell the screws and the paint. 
My job is to make sure that my people are happy, they're doing good stuff, and if they're doing good stuff, more likely than not, the source will be profitable, and, and I did my job. That'll be my legacy. All right? It's really, for me, it's, it's what's your legacy gonna be? And I'm not gonna be that guy that, oh, I'm afraid to hire you, or I don't wanna hire you because I'm so close-minded. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. And from a profit's perspective, again, profit's perspective, yes, there will be associated costs with a variety of accommodations. That's part of doing business. You need to spend money in order to make money. Right? That, 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 that is what it is. If you're going into business and you don't want to spend any money, you better rethink your career, uh, that, whole, that, whole, that whole thought process. And you can get out of it because that's going to happen. And there are going to be losses. It is what it is. But I, I have never had to make an accommodation that was ridiculous or exorbitant. It could just be, I need to come in an hour later. I need to have a job coach with me for a few days a week. Uh, I just need a, someone to sit with me as we go through some of your e-learnings, or I need extra training, or I, I need a stool, or I need, I need a cane, or I need whatever. Okay, give them to them. It, it, it doesn't matter. People need stuff every day. I have a lot of associates that just need a hug. It, it, truth, right? So in a nutshell, why should you do it? Two reasons. Number one, it's the right thing to do. Right, you want to grow your business and you want to have, uh, especially in the world of social media, we love to have brand champions and people that do, 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 do that kind of stuff. These folks are your best brand champion in the world because they will tell everyone how wonderful you are, how wonderful your company is, how wonderful everything is. You're, you'll never get a better advocate than one of these individuals. So that from the heart perspective, you lead with your heart, that's why you want to do it. But if that's not your thing, because you're more focused on P&Ls, and I love my P&L, I go through it every day. You will increase your profits based on the folks that they will drive in to your store or into your business. You will endear yourself to the community, which in turn, they will show their loyalty by buying your product and coming into your store or, or your environment. They will also improve morale across your building and across your staff, and by default, that will also increase productivity. And you'll be surprised at the standards that they raise themselves your folks will raise their, their standards in the same exact way. Saying, I can't, wow, this, this person's a great worker. You're making me look bad. And they work harder. So I've had a wonderful experience, and I, I've been a store manager now for 13 years. I've been doing this for a long time. I've been a retailer for half my life, store manager for 13 years. I've yet to have a bad experience. I don't plan on ever having a bad experience. It's always been wonderful. So from a money thing, do it. From a hard thing, do it. Just the right thing to do. I love them is what it is. So thank you for your time today. Enjoy the food, enjoy the water. I'm here all week. <laughs> <laughs> you guys